All right, my soapy friends, this one is for all of the soap makers out there that are new to natural colorants, or maybe you just wanna know a little bit of why behind why some things don't work. <laughs> I have two very popular, ooh, will it soap candidates. One, this is red cabbage uh, juice and well, the water from soaking red cabbage, and it is high in what is called anthocyanins. That's what makes it the groovy purple magenta cabbage awesome color here. And this one, this is red beet juice. This is red because of um, a chemical component called betanin. Everyone wants to know, will that color survive saponification? Let me show you. I'm gonna pour off a little bit of sodium hydroxide. And you can do this with any colorant that you have. Sodium hydroxide, cabbage juice, anthocyanins. This is what happens to you in a high pH environment. Ta-da! That's kind of cool, it's layered in there. Can you see that? Give it a little stir. It's gonna do all its pH changing magic because it is a pH indicator, that blue you saw, from the purple to the blue to now this tan colored yellow. That's what happens to anything that has an anthocyanin colorant uh, like cabbage. Not a bad color, it's just not the purple you were hoping for. Our beet juice, this is what happens to you in a high pH environment. Same thing, let's give this one a stir. That is a quick and easy way for you to test any potential colorant that you think might be kind of groovy in your soap. Happy soaping.